What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Battle Pack Jeff Hardy vs Edge from Wrestlemania 17. Here we do have Edge and Jeff Hardy in the packaging. What we're going to do now is take a little break, get them open up, and I'll have a better look at the figures inside. So stay tuned everyone. And so here we have Jeff Hardy and Edge posing out of the packaging. Being as how they are a battle pack to basic figures, unfortunately they do not come with any accessories unless you want to count Edge's elbow pads as, as accessories. We're not going to do that, so what we're going to do now is have a look at both Jeff Hardy and Edge. So here we have a closer look at Jeff Hardy, and I have to say, it's not the best likeness to Jeff Hardy. Um, I guess if you could say it's a younger Jeff Hardy, it makes sense, but I honestly do not see Jeff Hardy in this face sculpt. Does anybody remember S.R. Rios? I honestly see more S.R. Rios in this head sculpt than I see Jeff Hardy. I don't know what it is, it's just not the best face that they've used. Like I said, it looks more like S.R. Rios than Jeff Hardy. I will give them props that they did at least try to make his hair look layered. You can see right here the longer hair, the shorter hair right there. If they had made his head sculpt a singular piece and then applied the hair, that probably would give this a little bit better effect. But because the hair piece is just one entire piece, it really doesn't give a really good illusion that his head right there is shaved. On this side, because his hair just comes all the way down, you really can't tell, and you can see it is shorter in the back. Not my favorite Jeff Hardy head sculpt, unfortunately, but it it's an older Jeff Hardy, so I guess... Or a younger Jeff Hardy, so I guess I can let it slide. Moving on to his torso. Um, again, not a fan of how they make these Jeff Hardy figures. They use the tank top uh, torso, and then they just paint everything in. One problem that that creates is that you can see the mold lines and the seam lines of the tank top. I really do wish they would put a little effort into Jeff Hardy and actually sculpt a unique torso for him because this, it's honestly unacceptable, especially when you look at it close, you can see the tank top right there. Another issue that may or may not be something that you guys have an issue with is the color. I think his shirt is a little too dark for how it looked at WrestleMania 17. It was more of a flesh tone because it was a really thin shirt, but I don't know. I think it could have done better if it was thinner than if it was more like a skin tone with a little bit of dark wash. I don't know. The armbands are probably one of the best things on this figure. I do like the armbands. They look really good. The white, the black, and the flesh tone are really painted well. There's hardly any issues on mine, although I think I saw some right here on the right arm. Uh, just probably right here at the elbow, you can see where the paint is a little bit sc scratched up. And then right here you can see there's actually no paint on the elbow. Jeff Hardy is sporting a white belt, which is pretty accurate to what he wore at the time, especially during this match. Of course, Jeff Hardy wears black pants. Going all the way down to his boots, which I've always been a fan of the Hardy boots. I don't know why, but they're black with the white padding right here. So it looks really nice. Uh, it's a really good figure. It's just not a great figure. So what we're going to do now is actually move on to Edge. And so here we have a closer look at Edge, which I think is the stronger figure of the two. Now, I'm not saying he's the best Edge that we've gotten. I do like the head sculpt, but I think we've seen a much better application of the face printing technology on the SummerSlam Edge versus this Edge. So, um, I don't know, there's something about this, the way they applied the face printing tech that it seems a little bit off. It might be because it's from a younger Edge, but the SummerSlam Edge would have been an even younger Edge, so I don't know what it is about this face printing face on this edge it just could have been better the SummerSlam edge is the edge in which I base all the face printing edges faces on we have the same hair that that edge had his jaw is of course protruding out as it should 
Again, really like the hair. It's long, it's flowing. It has a little bit of paint in it just to give it a little more depth, which I do appreciate that, seeing as how Jeff Hardy was just a solid red. Edge actually has a little bit of, I want to say it's like a really light brown, almost blonde wash in there. And it does, it does look good. Moving on to his attire, Edge was never one to wear tops, but he does sport elbow pads, which these do come off if you really want them to. Uh, if I put them in storage, I'm probably going to take the elbow pads off, just in case. He does have white wrist tape. Interesting thing to note is that he has a fist and a grasping hand. Jeff already had two fists. Edge has one open hand, one fist, I don't know why. Here we get to the biggest problem I have with the figure. I'm pretty sure you can see it in camera. His trunks and his tights are two different colors. That is not the way it was in the match. Edge wore purple. Now, I'm pretty sure it's just the way these plastics were cast, but his crotch piece right here is actually a more pinkish purple, where his legs are actually more of a bluish purple and that does pick up on camera you can see right here his little onk right here it matches his legs more than does his crotch piece i don't know why it's like that maybe it was like that in the match i'm just i didn't see the match and i saw just purple so i'm pretty sure that's just a mistake on the plastic you can see it does say edge right here and actually, something to note is that he's missing his tattoo. I didn't even catch that at first, but Edge is missing his tattoo. Really interesting that they left his shoulder tattoo off. Um, I only remembered it because of the sunburst here on his tights, but he is missing a tattoo. I don't know if that's just my Edge who's missing his tattoo or if it's a universal problem, but that is something to note. So it looks like this battle pack has a few inaccuracies to it. But again, really do love the Edge tights. Just the way they look. I have always been a fan of these classic Edge tights. Going on to his kick pads, you can see it does say Edge right there. Really do love that sunburst and it was such a really nice effect. Besides the sunburst, he doesn't have any other designs on his kick pads, but it still looks good. Not great, but it looks good. So with that out of the way, let's actually get Edge and Jeff Hardy compared to a few other figures you may have in your collection. Here we have Jeff Hardy posed next to a WWE Elite Stone Cold and an Elite AJ Styles. Here we have Jeff Hardy posed next to a WWE Elite Miz and an Elite CM Punk. Here we have Edge posed next to a WWE Elite Stone Cold Steve Austin and an Elite AJ Styles. And finally, here we have Edge posed next to a WWE Elite Miz and an Elite CM Punk. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually take a look at their articulation. Being basic figures, they both sport the same articulation. The only difference is that Jeff Hardy's swivel at his ankles is down here at his ankle, where Edge's is here at the boot. So let's actually run through their articulation really fast, moving Jeff Hardy off to the side. Both of them do sport a ball joint in the head which does look up and down, does turn left and right, and you don't have any issues with these two figures because their hair is nice and soft. Uh, Edge here does have a little bit of tilt, arms go out to about there, do a full 360. They're single jointed at the elbow as well as have a rotation at the elbow. They have a swivel and a hinge at the wrist, although Edge is really tight right there. No ab crunch, but we do have a waist swivel, which works really fine. Legs do go forward and back all the way. No outward movement, no thigh swivel, but we have a single bend in the knee. And a boot swivel. Really basic articulation on both of them, but they are pretty much basic figures, so I'm not really complaining. What we're going to do now is actually get them posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have Edge and Jeff Hardy posed for my final thoughts. Overall, I really do like this set, although it does have some issues. Jeff Hardy not looking like Jeff Hardy at all, and Edge missing his tattoo and his tights being two different colors. Other than that, I still think this is a really nice set to own. 
However, I do feel like out of all the battle packs, they should have included a weapon with this set, seeing as how the match that Edge and Jeff Hardy wrestled in was a triple threat TLC ladder match. I'm actually surprised Mattel didn't throw in a ladder for these two, but that's neither here nor there. If you have been collecting WWE figures, you'll have ladders lying around just like I did, and it does make these look even better. If you are looking for the WrestleMania Battle Packs, they are hitting stores now. I did pick up my Edge and Jeff Hardy at Walmart, where they were actually having a sale on the Battle Packs. I actually picked this set up for $15, which is a pretty good bargain, seeing as how the regular price for a Battle Pack is $20. But pretty much being $10 a figure, I walked away with $7 a figure. If you can find this set and you're a fan of Jeff Hardy and Edge, or you were just really, really amazed with this match, you're going to want to have these guys in your collection. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as all my other WWE videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments, and if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. And while you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. Until next time, guys, I'm King of Dragons, and I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.